Warning, this video contains graphic images of deadly spiders and very unconventional spider control. I have no commercial connections to any other products that you see in this video. The product I'm using was suggested by a comment left on one of my spider videos. Well hi, if you've been watching my videos you know this area very well. I had a huge uh, red back spider infestation down here. That was three weeks ago. Let's take a look at what's going on after that infestation. This uh, beautiful, now burnt out grater um, did have a great big red back spider egg in it hidden away in the engine area. It was very frightful. Uh, this was, well this was moved to, for a video in the last three weeks, but let's just take a look underneath and see what's been going on. Ooh, there's a nice surprise. That's very lovely. That is a little bush cicada. It's that time of year, first cicada I've seen this year. I've got no problems with cicadas, and the cicada shell is hiding away in the engine bay. I don't think this year is going to be a manic cicada year. I've got to wait a few more years yet. I think the cycle where we live is seven years. It's always a prime number. Bit of a maths lesson for you. I'll be honest here, I can't really see any uh, spider activity here. Well, mind you, that thing is hanging there. Mm. Once again, being burnt and black makes it very hard to see. Uh, but I'll say that toy is clear. Little toy of the back here, it has only been here the last two weeks uh, because it was laying down in the middle of the ground. There's spider web, oh look at this here. There's web up in the bucket there. And I don't like the look of that web. And if I go down here, in fact, I don't like the look of that spider right there. That there is a juvenile red back. I'm getting to know these spiders very well now. Um, didn't take very long, did it? They're back. So it's only taken a couple of weeks and these spiders are settling right back to where they're comfortable. I think there's webs down there and sadly I'm going to have to come along and firebomb that beautiful toy. This bulldozer type thing, I can see there is a web setting up here. Let's take a look at the spider that I can see there. Well there it is there, it's got the right style of web. You know what, I think that's another red back setting up. In a way I'm surprised, but I'm not surprised because the amount of red backs we've had in the backyard has been quite astonishing. Let's take a very careful look underneath here. And really I'm looking for web. If I see web, there's going to be a spider. I'll tell you what, that looks actually pretty clean under there. And yes, I am taking a look at all the inside creepy bits as well. And I only put these toys outside again in the same spot just to see how long it took for these spiders to be comfortable back amongst the toys. Okay, this truck here, I ended up sitting a little, little truck inside there, that was done in the last two weeks. The truck has been sitting here for three weeks. I can see the typical sort of red back, dangly sort of web there. I'm going to very carefully turn this over. Hmm, scary stuff isn't it? You just don't know what you're going to find, but I'm not finding that much web underneath. Uh, the web is really the key indicator to these spiders. And what I think I'm finding is juvenile uh, spiders and the web that they make. I can see the web there, but I can't see the spider. Mind you, there's lots of little nooks and crannies there for the spiders to hide in. I'm regarding that as contaminated. It will be firebombed. Let me put it over here very gently, and we'll take a look at what's going on here. And this is the big truck. Yeah, there could be something down here. I can see there's been web there, but we'll take a look underneath the truck. Okay, okay, I've got web up the back here. That there's a very typical web. Often there's things stuck in it. It's very, very sticky web. Uh, for the purpose that it's very good at catching things that they eat. Uh, maybe if I dig in down there, there's a nice hidey hole where the spiders can get to. I might find a red back. <laughs> but really, the only way to really know is to um, fire bomb it or hit it with insecticide or something. I just think there's all juvenile set up in these trucks again. I know, I know you're saying, what about Mrs. Cow there? Oh, okay, we'll take a look at Mrs. Cow's underneath. Um, I think she's clear. Remember there's a red back living up there in the other video? I can't see any web. Again, the web is the classic indicator if you've got a problem. Somehow, Mrs. Cow's safe. So, three weeks down and the uh, terror campaign of the Redbacks really just starts all over again. Uh, sure, they're small at the moment, but they will grow large. In the backyard, we found lots of spider eggs. Uh, inside the spider eggs, uh, with Redbacks, you get about 250 little spiderlings. Uh, these get blown around by the wind. Some of them go through to be adults if they find the right spot to live. And, of course, these toys seem like the perfect spot. 
Mrs. Owl's back in her or his spot, then of he or she, that there's a spider sitting up in front of Mrs. Owl. And that spider's busily having a feed so we won't disturb her. But if I throw some dirt under Mrs. Owl, nothing is sticking so she's most probably clear. I'm going to firebomb the toys which have got the redback spiderling setting up again and I'm going to spray these toys with some means to try and stop the redbacks from coming back. Don't worry, before I do I'll come in and save the little cicada. Come on, come to papa. I know for a fact what I'm about to do is going to kill every spiderling in amongst those toys. You better believe me, I'll be doing the underneath as well. Extremely thorough here, You're getting into every nook and cranny. Mind you, the heat uh, from that flame is really hot. Nothing can survive that. Ooh, toasted. Right, Dio, I'll let that cool down and I'll come in with my secret plan. Well, do you want the good news or the bad news? The good news is all those little deadly spiders have gone. These toys are now devoid of spiders. The bad news is the toys are looking a little bit crispy critter. Now to unveil my secret plans here. It was from a comment that I saw on YouTube and someone said to me, Hey Leo, WD-40 is a fantastic deterrent for these styles of spiders. Whether that's true or just some troll sounding off on YouTube, who knows, but let's take a read of what WD-40 can do for us in life. The can says it stops squeaks, drives out moisture, cleans and protects, loosens rusted parts and free sticky mechanisms. Crikey's, it's made in Australia. Now the thing I can't read here is it kills spiders or stops spiders, but then again the can up here says there's always another use. Now there's one very good thing that this is going to do to some of these toys, mind you some of these toys are plastic but the metal ones, uh, this stuff is going to help protect the metal, uh, but what we're aiming to do is stop the spiders. So I'm going to come and give these toys an extremely liberal spray of this stuff and I mean it's going to be plenty on there, I've got lots of cans of this, there's going to be no area without this product, I can guarantee it. And yes, I am going everywhere. I'm going underneath the toys. I'll be going inside the wheels wherever I can, completely covering every metal and plastic part. Even fix that rusty axle. I've almost emptied out my first big can of WD-40 here. One thing I learned from burning up these toys, I think this is just an El Cheapo when I purchased at Aldi. It took very little heat to deform this. Mind you, the Tonka toy uh, it took a lot of heat. That was actually really surprising. Well, nice to see. I think when you buy a Tonka product, you um, actually get a nice quality toy. I'm only saying that because I think my spider videos have caused a huge dent in sales. Sorry, Mr. Tonka. There's another rusty axle I can fix. And I'm telling you, I have put lots of lots of product on this. There's a ton of WD-40. Uh, a lot of this will just evaporate away, and I think it leaves like a bit of an oily film. Well, that's what we're hoping for. Maybe that is going to be the perfect deterrent for these redback nasties. Every nook and cranny is soaked. That's one, two, three, four, five toys covered in WD-40. Looking pretty and smelling pretty as well. And as a control to make any sense of this test, I'm going to add this. Dun -dun. It's a Tonka Grader, brand new in box, and it's not going to be covered in WD-40. That Tonka grater there was the one which had the big mother spider egg sac hiding away inside of it. It seemed to be a nice little magnet for the redback spiders. Uh, it wasn't burnt out when I picked it up off the side of the road. It was a free toy for me, a little bit rustic, but hey, I don't mind it like that. This one here, brand spanking new in box. Hey, $50 toy for me, David Jones. Uh, it's got a full lifetime warranty, whatever that means with these toys. All I have to do now is unbox this thing, but not spray it. And I'll unbox it nice and gently. Mind you, these are Tonka tough, aren't they? Good toys can tend to take a lot of punishment. I think it's free of the box. Yeah. Okay, there it is, free of the box. 
some of you out there may like the look of that one but some of you may be very impressed with that there now the biggest struggle I'm gonna have is stopping my son from playing with this toy even I want to play with it it's got like little things to play with but the part that I don't like about this toy in relation to spiders is the design under here and maybe we'll see it nice and clear on this new toy this toy is exactly the same design as the one I had to burn up there is a hole there that goes into an area that you cannot get into the spiders loved it in there they had an egg sack in there obviously very very comfortable and what I mean you can't get into it it's actually the engine molding the plastic engine thing in there uh, it would be nice maybe if Mr. Tonka had a look at stopping these sort of access holes that are so lovely for spiders to get into I'm sure everyone who's watched my videos have gone and checked their toys be it Tonka or another brand anything it's really any toy left outside susceptible to spiders but ones like this more so uh, but it's a fantastic toy please don't let me degrade this toy it's got the little thing here so you can steer the wheels and you just want to play with it I mean that's the real sign of a great toy as soon as you pull it out of the box you want to play and I'm starting to play right now I love it yeah fantastic toy just going to show you the date of the reset here okay 3rd of November it's just after Halloween that's the way to remember it okay so there are the toys put back in their spot so it's a pretty simple experiment is it a myth about WD-40 it might have been one of the sales reps from the company that landed the comment it's like that these days online I've noticed will the grader there that has no WD-40 allow the red backs to come back that is the big question or will the ones that have been sprayed with WD-40 deter the red backs from setting up nest again it's worthy to note Mrs. Owl is not sprayed with WD-40, nor is Mrs. Cow. They're both clean, and so are the other two ornaments over there. It's prime spider season where I'm living right now. It's going to be curious to see what happens in the next couple of weeks. As always, thanks for watching, and bye for now.